que grabar. Recuerde, por favor, en este caso, de que la participación es muy importante. Así que, igual, señores, yo de verdad me siento muy contenta de estar aquí con ustedes. Así que, vamos a arrancar. So, welcome to level number nine. If you ask to me, in my very personal opinion, I feel, I feel totally happy. I feel totally happy. I was missing to all of you. So now, can you believe it? Pueden creerlo? This is the final. This is the final level. And I have four questions. I have four questions. Let me see. I'm going to ask to, could you please, Renata, me vas a leer las cuatro preguntas, please. Thank you. Yes. Who was your experience in the academy? What can be your advice for the future students? What was the most difficult part during this process? Would, I, would, would you like to share your personal tip to improve English? Okay, according to question number one, how was your experience in the academy? Durante los nueve, bueno, ocho meses prácticamente. Durante los ocho meses, ¿cómo fue su experiencia? Le voy a dar 60 segundos para que piense y me diga, teacher, esta es mi experiencia, esta es mi personal opinion. Le voy a dar 60 segundos y yo le voy a dar mi opinión personal como maestra. Ok, como teacher. Well, number one. According to my personal opinion, how was your experience in the academy? I feel so proud. I feel so proud to all of you. I remember maybe some of the time it was a kind of difficult, it was a kind of difficult to get into the class because I know you're studying the school, you study at the university, and I know sometimes it sometimes maybe it will be difficult for you. But I feel so proud. Teacher, eh, I remember when I when I was at the first time in the academy. It was a kind of difficult because I didn't understand. But now, uh, now I understand more. Teacher, my fluently, my fluently teacher, my goodness, improve, improve my writing, my listening, my vocabulary. Teacher, if you ask to me, si usted me pregunta, teacher, how many birds do you know? Wow, teacher, I learned almost 40, 50, 100 birds. So if you ask to me, teacher, about vocabulary, my goodness, teacher, I can describe an animal, I can describe a picture, I can give my personal opinion. So I'm gonna start. How was your experience in the academy? I'm gonna start in order. Voy a comenzar en orden. I don't want to see, or in this moment, I don't want any volunteers. So I'm going to start with the question number one, in this case, with a volunteer. So, excuse me, in order. So I'm going to start with Carmencita. Could you please, could you please turn on your audio? Okay, Vero? Yes, teacher. Carmencita, how was your experience in the academy? Se prepara Daniela Rivas. My experience, um, it was really good. I liked uh, the classes. I think I learned many things and now I can understand very well some, uh, some things uh -huh. that before I don't know. And I learned more vocabulary. Excellent. Thank you, Carmencita. Really nice. Teacher, well, thank you, Carmencita. Teacher, how can I improve? ¿Cómo puedo mejorar mi inglés? Teacher, how can I improve my fluently? How can I improve my English? How can I improve my reading, my writing, my listening? It's very simple. Number one, if you like English music, it's an option. Esa puede ser una opción. If you like to read, si usted le gusta leer, if you like to read, it's a second option. Daniela, what about you? How was your experience in the academy? Se prepara Giovanni Guzman. Mm, super nice because in my case, I'm learning new vocabulary and I um, understand the new, new words. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Danny. So, teacher, I remember in the first class, I felt very nervous, teacher. But now I feel comfortable. Thank you, Danny. Giovanni, what about you? How was your experience in the academy? Please be ready, Katy Rodriguez. Mm, teacher, this has been my experience in the academy that I have learned a lot of tests and words in English, even the conversation. Excellent, perfect. Teacher, hey guys, hey student, it's really important. The conversation is really important. Teacher, I consider I need to continue studying. Teacher, I, con I consider I need to continue practicing. Yes, hey, nunca, o sea, ya aprendí esto, ahora ya voy a dejar. No, hey, continúen practicando ustedes solitos. Ya este es el último mes que usted tiene que darle con todo, porque ya en junio ya usted, ya los lunes, miércoles y viernes, usted ya no va a tener nada que hacer. Así que aproveche ese tiempo. Siga practicando los lunes, miércoles y viernes que ya no va a tener a la teacher ahí. Ay, no, vamos a clase otra vez. Aproveche, aproveche, aprenda otro idioma. Por ejemplo, tengo a Renata. Renata está aprendiendo portugués. Y créanme que los idiomas opens, opens doors, guys. So if you, as more languages, as more languages you speak, as more opportunities you are going to have in the future. Let's see, Kathy. What about you? How was your experience in the academy? And then please be ready, Kenny Sanchez. My experience at the academy, academy has been fun and entertaining. It has also been a lot of learning. It has helped me a lot with my vocabulary, in my pronunciation, in my listening, my writing, and in reading. Honestly, I have learned a lot and I have liked it. Excellent, thank you. Hey, the most important is, if you like English, el resto is going to be a piece of cake. Va a ser super fácil. Una de las cosas importantes que usted tiene que tener es que a usted le guste. Hay gente que se mete a estudiar inglés por necesidad, pero hay gente que se mete a estudiar porque le gusta. Entonces, si a usted le gusta el inglés, ya la hizo. So, Kenny, hi, Kenny. How was your experience in the academy, Kenny? Please be ready, Renata. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Question number one. <laughs> um, eh, sería, in my opinion, in, in experience is good. Um, uh, is, mm -hmm. Was difficult, was good, excellent. No, it's stressful. I have no, good experience um, to remove the fear. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, you. excellent. Thank you, Kenny. Teacher, it is common to feel nervous. Es, es normal, teacher, sentirse nervioso. It is common to feel nervous. Yes, it is common. It is very common to feel nervous. It is common to feel, teacher, I don't want to participate because I don't want to make mistakes. No quiero, no, no me quiero equivocar. I don't want to make mistakes. Hey, hey, remember, yo, yo tengo una frase. Nobody is perfect. ¿Qué significa esa, esa frase? Nobody is perfect. Volunteer? Nobody is perfect. Nadie es Exacto, nadie es perfecto. Just, just God. So, teacher, I don't want to make me stay. Hey, hey, no way, nobody's perfect, okay? Nobody's perfect. So, Renata, how was your experience in the English Academy? And then please be ready, Marcela. Okay, my experience was very good. I liked it too much because in a short time, I was up to improve my vocabulary, my listening, my writing, and my pronunciation. And also, I, I, I also learn neat verbs. Um, I improve my nerve, and I, I learn to make conversations with those 
terrains and fears I was a friend of being born would seem that fear. What's go going? I'm finished. Okay, thank you, Renata. Thank you so much. Hey. It's really important, for example, I remember when I was studying, que se prepara Marce, when I was studying English, one of the most difficult situations that I had to face it up, que tuve que enfrentar, was to speak in public, to speak in front of the audience. I remember I was studying, I was preparing my speech. Siempre yo estudiaba lo que iba a decir, la participación, pero a mí los nervios me traicionaban. Entonces, es algo que ustedes ya tienen que ya dejar a un lado porque ya venimos, wow, ya tenemos ya sobre nueve meses juntos y esa, la parte de los nervios es algo que ya de verdad, verdaderamente tenemos que ya, eh, eh, bueno, nadie me está viendo, eh, nadie me conoce. Entonces, la parte del nerviosismo es como que ya, ya tenemos que irla quitando. Vamos a ver, Marce. What about you, Marce? Y finalizo esta pregunta después con Shirel. Marce, how was, how was your experience in the academy? Teacher, in my case, my experience in the, acad in the academy was very awesome. I had many activities some mm -hmm. difficult or easy but all was very interesting and really i i like mm -hmm. everything that's it this thing. excellent thank you so much marcelita regáleme un minuto que daniel me está diciendo que no puede ingresar permítanme Okay, perdón que ahí Daniel me está diciendo que no puede ingresar. Thank you so much, Marce. Shirel, I'm going to finish question number one with your opinion. Y de ahí voy con la segunda pregunta. So, Shirel, how was your experience in the academy? Um, my experience in the academy is uh, so nice because uh, in this time, uh, in this time that I learn in English in this academy, I I feel, <laughs> I feel, no <laughs> I feel my my vocabulary, my my conversation. Uh, sometimes I I it's so difficult, but uh, but. Pero otras veces se puede decir. But sometimes, pero a veces. But sometimes is when I so nervous, I don't remember some vocabulary. Uh -huh. But in in the time I I I saw I saw, I saw in this, el mejor es pro, Yes. Okay, uh, I super in my color, and that's it. Okay, thank you so much, Irel. Thank you. Okay, guys, look at question number two. Saben que en las últimas clases de los niveles, las últimas clases que tengo yo con los niveles, casi siempre yo eh, 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 muestro esta parte que les voy a preguntar ahorita porque tengo alumnos que van ingresando, que apenas van en nivel 2, apenas van en nivel 3. La pregunta 2 dice, what can be your advice for the future students? Si usted tuviera que darle un consejo a todos los alumnos nuevos que van ingresando a la academia, en inglés, what can be your advice for the future students? For example, teacher, my advice is never, never give up. Se lo voy a mandar al chat. My advice is, okay, Marce, thank you. 
So, teacher, my advice is, ahí se lo voy a mandar al chat, al chat, never give up. Saben que siempre se registran muchos alumnos, pero son pocos los que culminan la carrera como ustedes lo han hecho. Yo sé que durante, la, durante todos los ocho meses que estuvimos juntos, hubieron muchas veces que nos sentíamos cansados, que teníamos tareas, que teníamos que hacer cosas de la casa, que teníamos reuniones. Que te... Y yo sé que muchas veces fue difícil ingresar, pero aún así lo hicieron. Y son pocos los alumnos como la universidad. Se inscriben al montón, pero solo verdaderamente los que tienen la palabra perseverancia logran en este caso finalizar. Entonces, teacher, one advice es never give up. Nunca, nunca renuncie. Never give up. Carmencita, just one advice. What can be your advice for the future student? Se prepara Daniela. Um, I think, teacher, my advice is to um, maybe try to improve English with um, some fun in a fun way or something. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you so much, Carmencita. Daniela, what can be your advice for the future students? Be ready, Giovanni Guzman. My advice is never give up, but because this will service um, this will service throw throw out this mm -hmm. time. Wow, excellent. Thank you, Dani. Giovanni, an advice for the future students. And then please be ready, Katia. Okay, Renata, thank you. Uh, my advice my my advice to students is if they take a career that has to do with english they can achieve achieve they can achieve mm -hmm. it or they can learn another language apart from me for me english a language like that with like mm -hmm. apart from english wow and, perfect i like it mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much, Giovanni. Kathy, advice, an advice for the future students. Please be ready, Kenny. My advice to future students is to dedicate themselves to learning English and continue mm -hmm. learning new language. Since mm -hmm. personally, I think they are a fundamental part and open new doors for us wherever we go. Excelente. Hey, ¿Saben que eso es verdad? Hay alumnos que solamente estudian inglés. Ah, como las clases son lunes, miércoles y viernes, de cinco y media a seis y media, ya los de, las demás horas del día y los demás días, como martes, jueves, sábado y domingo, ay, no, o sea, siempre tómese un minuto, uno, perdón, siempre tómese aunque sea diez minutos al día para repasar o aprender algo. Yo me acuerdo cuando yo estudiaba, en lo, que se en lo que se prepara Kenny, cuando yo estaba aprendiendo inglés en la universidad, yo me acuerdo que yo me ponía un reto, yo decía, me voy a aprender 10 palabras en inglés todos los días. Y a mí me gustaba. O sea, y créanme que quizás, quizás por eso es que yo eh, manejo bastante vocabulario, porque a mí, la, o sea, yo me ponía en mi propio reto. Ahora me voy a aprender 10 palabras de X tema. Entonces, les aconsejo también que hagan eso, ¿verdad? Que hagan eso. Kenny, ¿qué consejo para los estudiantes a futuro? Se prepara Renata. Um, my advance will be that they do not give up get at the first obstacle to uh -huh. continue. Mm -hmm. To continue okay. studying, yes. Hey, uh -huh. teacher, we have to study every day. We have to study every day. We have to practice every day. Excellent. Thank you, Kenny. Okay, Renata, M se prepara Ana Veronica. My thoughts are never be afraid to be warned, never give up what you like, and take or one or two days off of the week to practice. Excellent. Day one or more than once to continue practicing. Thank you. Berito, an advice for the future students, and I'm going to finish with Shirel. My advice, I never give up. 
my bank review every day. Mm -hmm. My bank person every day to practice uh -huh. labor language to uh, speak, speak, listening to music, mm -hmm. watching, watching movies in English. Yes. Uh, uh, read paragraph. Excellent. Hey. Teacher, I like to listen to music, but if you like to listen Bad Bunny, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, I respect. If you like Bad Bunny, I respect, but my advice is to listen music in English. Shirel, please, an advice for the future students. Um, is uh, never about about your dreams and if learning another language is one of your dreams it's true to both of you that's it excellent thank you so much thank you so much hey look at question number three hey se acuerdan cuál fue la parte más difícil para ustedes durante este proceso de estos ocho meses cuál fue la parte más difícil teacher for me the most difficult part was try to try to have a conversation with others no teacher for me the most difficult part was getting into the class because most of the time i feel tired teacher the most difficult no teacher for me the most difficult part during this process was trying to continue improving because I see my classmates, they were improving a lot and I feel like, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm like a total. So, estoy bien lenta en aprendizaje. Entonces, one of the most difficult part, teacher, was to feel the pressure. Sentir esa presión, teacher. So, let me ask to Carmencita, what was the most difficult part during this process? Se prepara, Dani. Uh, for me, teacher, uh, getting to the class because my time uh -huh. and also um learn new words for me it's difficult mm -hmm. new vocabulary and that's it excellent thank you and i understand i understand because i know you study you study at the school you study at the university you work you have family but i i feel so proud de me siento muy orgullosa yo le decía a diana diana cuidame este grupo O sea, estate pendiente de todos, monitoreámelos, porque yo necesito que todos los que están ahorita contigo, que te voy a entregar en nivel 7, yo los quiero ver en nivel 9. Y ella me decía, sí, jefa, mi, ella jefa, sí, jefa, me dice, no se preocupe, ahí, ahí estoy monitoreando, no sé qué, no sé qué. Y lo, yo siempre le preguntaba, ¿y cómo va Giovanni? ¿Y cómo va Katy? ¿Y cómo va Shirel? Entonces, no, ahí vamos, que mire, que no sé qué. Entonces, yo siempre le decía a ella, trata la manera de cuidarme ese grupo porque yo quiero que todos terminen. Ok, yo quiero que todos terminen. Y miren, señores, prácticamente estamos a cuatro semanas prácticamente y nosotros culminamos. Nosotros culminamos. Así que de verdad, I feel totally, totally proud of you. So, Daniela, what was the most difficult part during this situation? Be ready, Giovanni Guzmán. In my case, it will be in this progressive. Be a to practice and remember what we see. Okay, but one of the techniques, teacher, ¿qué técnica se puede ocupar cuando vemos un tema? Practicing. Continue practicing. This is a technique. Practicing, pero ¿cómo, teacher? Practicing by reading in English. Practicing by watching movies in English. Practice by listening to music in English with the subtitle, with the lyrics in English, okay? Giovanni, the most difficult part during this process. Se prepara, Katy. Oops. Thank you, Jova. Are you ready? Five, four, three, uh... two. Excellent. For me, what give me the most difficulty was saying some words in English uh, that is side grown. Uh, 
as sad that them wrong, she always correct, correct me. Uh, and and said always correct me and I always say them wrong. Okay, but remember, nobody is perfect, okay? Remember, nobody is perfect. Uh, yes. Would I, would I probably lie? And would put a lie on the insane term. I always said, just God is perfect, but I'm really proud of you. Thank you, Joa. Really nice. Thank you so much. Let okay. me see. I'm going to continue, Kathy. The most difficult part, the most difficult process, Kathy. Be ready, Kenny. I think that the most difficult thing in my case has been learning to speak without fear in front of my classmates and to mm -hmm. create a conversation with them. But I have been working on it and learning to speak without fear in front of other people. And now, and now you got a good fluently. Excellent. Thank you, Kathy. Nice. Excellent. Let's see. Kenny, what about you? The most difficult part. Be ready, Renata. Uh, the most difficult part for me um, was the pronunciation, uh -huh. the vocabulary. Um, I go a little the uh, I I go a little by little. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Excellent. No, yes, I got it. Thank you. Renata and then Shirel, and I'm going to finish with Berito. Renata, please, the most difficult part during this process. And in my case, I am afraid of having a conversation with other people with uh, feeling nervous or afraid of making a mistake. <laughs> hey, but it is normal. Some students are really afraid to make mistakes. Thank you, Renata. Shinel, what about you? The most difficult part, and I'm going to finish with Berito. Um, is uh, the vocabulary, uh, the the nervous when I I have a conversation with authors mm -hmm. because I'm sometimes I'm so nervous. Uh, uh, that's it. Excellent, thank you. Antes de finalizar con Veronica, quiero que observe la pregunta cuatro. Would you like to share your personal tips to improve English? O sea, le gustaría compartir cuál fue su tip para mejorar en inglés. Pero, por ejemplo, teacher, yo recuerdo que yo era mala en listening y yo hice esto. Teacher, yo recuerdo que yo era mala en, en conversación, yo era malo en conversación y yo hice esto. Teacher, yo recuerdo que a mí me costaba escribir en inglés y yo hice esto. Entonces, listo con la pregunta cuatro. Compártanos cuál es el tip que usted utilizó para mejorar esa área en inglés. Verito. Question three, I'm going to finish with you. What was the most difficult part, Berito, during this process? Uh, for me, the most difficult is uh, the speech and pronunciation. pronunciation. Mm -hmm. um, listening, listening, teacher. Um, Listening, uh, practice listening, listening movies, movies, and music, music in English. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. According to question number four, would you like to share your personal tip to improve English? I'm going to share my personal. Uh, as I said before, así como ya se lo dije antes, as I said before, um i don't have a good memory yes i don't have a good memory so that's why i had some problems trying to memorize many many vocabularies so one of the techniques or one tip that i used to improve my vocabulary is i tried i tried to learn at least 10 por lo menos me aprendía at least 10 or 20 words per day. 
And that's how I improve my vocabulary. I remember I didn't have any problem by listening because when my catedraticos speak in front of us, I didn't have any problem to understand them. I don't have any problem on writing. I don't have any problem on grammar. So, but my problem was trying to memorize many, many, many words. So my tip was to memorize 10 or 20 words per day. Carmencita, do you have any tip to improve the skills at English? Uh, yes, teacher, um, but maybe in listening. And lately I watch um, series and movies and mm -hmm. in English and I, I read the subtitles and that's in English. What, yeah, and mm -hmm. also um, listen to music in English and see the lyrics. Excellent, thank you, good. Thank you, Carmencita, for sharing your tip. Let me see, Daniela, what was your tip to improve your English? Be ready, Giovanni Guzman. If one of my tips to learn more new words, what I did is listen to music and learning but pronunciation, 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 and, and new ways of say words. Ah, good, excellent. Thank you, Dani. Giovanni, a tip, un tips to improve your English. Be ready, Kathy. Uh, my my personal advice is to keep practicing it anyway, watching videos. Mm -hmm. Listening to music in English or watching movies in English with sub subtitles mm -hmm. for me to scan the, the ways. Excellent. Thank you. Nice. Kathy, what about you? Be ready, Kenny Sanchez. The advice that I would like to share personally is to listen to love music in English with English lyrics or subtitles and really pronounce them at the same time help us to have a better fluency. Like watching movies or series in English with subtitles, it helps us a lot. In my case, listening to music in slow English helped me with, with my vocabulary, my pronunciation, my listening, and my writing. Good, good job, excellent, thank you. Thank you, really nice, Kathy. Kenny, what about you? Please be ready, Renata. Oops, thank you, Kenny. Ready? Bye. Excellent. Sí. Okay, go ahead. Um, in my case, and now I see um, the movies in English and, and, and some videos uh, uh -huh. to promote pronunciation. Excellent. Good. Hey, I used to I used to use the ways to watch videos in English. For example, I really like to watch movies. It's one of my favorite hobbies, and and I always put the subtitles in English with the audio in English too. Thank you, Kenny. Nice, Renata. What about you? And then please be ready, Shirel. My personal tip to improve English was to make sentence with everything I saw and also listen to music in English and watch movie or cut dramas with English subtitles. With the subtitles. Thank you, Renata. And let's see, Shirel, what about you? I'm going to finish with Veronica. Uh, is a tip is see series or movies in, in English. Um, I don't see the subtitles because uh, when I watch the subtitles, I can to to translate to English because I know. Uh, and so for this, I watch or I listen to series in English. And that's it. Or I watch that uh, um, a videos of uh, 
uh, some famous or celebrities and this. Okay, thank you, Shirel. Let's see, Verito, I'm going to, I'm going to finish with your opinion. Question four. In my, in my opinion, it, uh, practice read paragraph Spanish and translate in English, um, listen music in Spanish and subtitles in English, and watching TV subtitles in English. Okay, excellent, so thank you. Um, Spanish. Excellent, thank you so much. And thanks to all of you guys. Hey, yo no sé si se acordaban, pero, y si no, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que mi clase cada dos, tres, cinco minutos, you have to, you have to participate. Ok, antes de continuar, bueno, aunque, aunque si usted se fija a la hora, imagínense, ya son las seis y diez. Antes de continuar con los temas, quiero darles un, 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 un pequeño anuncio. Como este es el último nivel, yo voy a tratar la manera de sacar temas que hemos visto durante todos los niveles. Porque algo que, le, que, que siempre le, eh, le pasa al alumno es que ven un tema y ya no lo vuelven a estudiar. Entonces, cuando ese tema lo, quieren, lo ven en algún momento, se nos olvida. Entonces, yo voy a tratar la manera. Hoy no voy a ocupar el material que les he dado. Para los que se los he dado en físico y para los que se los he mandado en PDF, no lo vamos a ocupar. Así que el material, por el momento, guardémoslo, porque no lo vamos a ocupar. Quiero hacer, en este caso, ahora un pequeño review de los Countable y los uncountable nouns, ¿ok? Countables and uncountable nouns. Y I got a game. Tengo un juego, señores. I got a game and we are going to play it in groups. Quiero ver si usted se acuerda que es, un, que es algo contable y que es algo que no podemos contar. Quiero que, please... Turn on your audios, turn on your audios and try to choose the correct one. Las opiniones. Cuando uno da una opinión, ¿qué considera usted que son? Uncountable o son countable? On o countable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Are you sure? Countable. Tengo una opinión. Ah, es contable. Countable. Vamos con la siguiente. Money, countable or uncountable? Money, countable. On or count? On or uncountable. ¿Por qué es uncountable, teacher? Porque acuérdese que el dinero es infinito, igual que los números. Uncountable. Vamos con next. Island, una isla. Island, countable. countable. Or on, okay, let's see. Countable, perfect. Let's continue. Newspaper, el periódico. Newspaper, countable oh. or? Countable. Oh, countable. Countable. Usted tiene un periódico en su casa. Tiene uno, tiene dos, tiene tres. Las oh. noticias. Cuando usted ve noticias en la tele, news. Countable or uncountable? Countable. Contable, ¿se pueden contar? Uncountable. ¿Por qué, teacher, en este caso son uncountable? Porque cuando habla, tengo una noticia, ¿no? Aquí habla en este caso cuando usted está viendo televisión, usted no puede decir, ah, mira, ahí hay una noticia, ahí hay dos, ahí hay dos. En general, noticias. Cosas que no, que no son tangibles, no podemos tocar, como el aire, las nubes. Vamos con information. Uncountable o countable. Uh, uncountable. 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 Excellent. Let's continue. Time. El tiempo. Uncountable. 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 Exacto, porque usted el tiempo no lo tiene en la mano, vea, no se puede palpar. Uh, bread. Bread. Uncountable. Uncountable. Exacto, teacher, pero yo voy a la tienda, dime un dólar de pan. Acuérdese que este es inglés americano y ellos el, el pan lo tienen en porciones y usted no sabe cuántas porciones le van a salir, etcétera. Por eso es que viene, viene de la harina, o sea, por eso en ese caso es uncountable. Thought, los pensamientos. Thought. Uncountable. 
Tengo este pensamiento, teacher, o sea, thought, thought, it's contable. Hey, este, este está fácil, sand. What is sand? What is sand? Arena. Okay, contable or uncontable? Uncontable, excellent. Number 11, pepper. What is pepper? Uncontable. Uncontable. El chile contable. contable. En la refri, ¿cuántos chiles tiene? Uno, dos, tres. El pastel, cuida aquí, cuida. Contable o oh, contable. 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 Vamos a ver en este contable. caso. Contable. Tengo un pastel en mi casa. Contable Tengo por las para... porciones que te da. Exactly. Excelente. Coca-Cola, el líquido. Coca-Cola. Contable. 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 Mm. Uncountable. Uncountable. Las bebidas no se pueden contar. Tiche, pero hoy tengo un vaso de coca. Uh -huh. Nos vamos a repente el líquido. ¿Cuántas gotitas de Coca-Cola tenés ahí? No sabemos. <risa> Strawberry. Uncountable. Exactly. Countable. Countable porque son, son, son un montón de cerecitas. Exacto. So, tuvimos 12 de 14. Vamos con el segundo en este caso. Para el segundo juego, señores, este se lo voy a mandar a usted al chat de Zoom. Quiero que observe, les acabo de mandar ahí un link. Váyase al chat de Zoom. Váyase al chat de Zoom. Y la indicación es la siguiente. Dele clic en el link y lo que usted va a hacer es lo siguiente. Observe mi pantalla, observe mi, mi pantalla antes de dar clic. Observe mi pantalla, observe mi pantalla antes de dar clic. Tengo uncountable y tengo countable. Por ejemplo, en este caso, yo tengo la palabra onions. Si usted considera que la palabra onions es countable, usted va a arrastrar el cuadrito para acá. Tengo, por ejemplo, la palabra tuna. Si usted considera que tuna o sea, tuna, lo que le ponen a los sándwiches. ¿Cómo es que se llama? El, se me ha ido en español. Tuna, la, el atún. Exacto, el atún, el atún. Exacto, el atún. Entonces, si usted considera que el atún es uncountable, usted va a clasificar, ¿ok? Entonces, eso es lo único que va a hacer. Y ojo, observe mi pantalla. Cuando usted finalice de clasificar si la palabra es uncountable o si es contable, usted le va a dar acá enviar respuestas. Y ahí, en este caso, le va a dar la nota. Y ojo, ¿qué va a hacer usted con eso? Y esa es una modalidad que voy a ocupar en el último nivel. Cuando usted finalice, necesito que me mande la captura porque yo para este último nivel voy a estar tomando asistencias. Porque acuérdese que se va a generar el último diploma y yo tengo que tener asistencia. Así que mi asistencia va a ser todas las dinámicas que hagamos en clase. Ahora, haga la dinámica. Yo creo que cinco minutos es suficiente. Hagamos la dinámica. Finalice, déle enviar respuestas, le toma captura y si gusta le envía al grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Tienen dudas o oh, everything is clear like horchata? Five, four. Clear. Clear, teacher. Excellent. Ok, señores, cinco minutos.
two minutes, dos minutos, two minutes left. Left significa que nos quedan dos minutos. Two minutes left. I got Veronica's results. I got Daniela's results. Excellent. Finish teacher. Finish teacher. Thank you, Giovanni. Excellent. One minute left. I got Shirelle's results. Excellent. Thank you. Nice. I got Shirelle, Daniela, and Veronica's result. So, Renata is missing. Carmencita, you're missing. Kathy, you're missing. Let me see, let me see. Um, no, Carmencita. I don't have it. On my own WhatsApp, I don't have it. Okay, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Remember guys, this is my attendance. Acuérdense que esta va a ser mi asistencia, asistencia, perdón, durante estas cuatro semanas que vamos a estar juntos. This is my attendance. Okay, five, four. Thank you, Renata. Good, I got it, thank you. Nice. Easy peasy, teacher. Easy peasy. Okay, guys. Now, look up. I'm going to finish the class with this exercise. Now, please. Eh, excellent, Carmencita. Thank you. I got it now. Perfect. I got it now. Okay, now. Me ayudan, por favor, a clasificar. Okay? Me ayudan, por favor, a clasificar. I'm going to start in order. Pineapple. Pineapple. Uncountable or countable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Tomato. Porque. Oh. Por lo, como no sabes cuántas, no sabes cuántas porciones te van a salir. <ríe> acuérdate que, acuérdate que en este caso es, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Es inglés americano. Entonces uno dice, dice, pero ahí hay una piña, ahí hay otra. Pero o sea, ellos se dan, se dan a entender como las porciones. Ya voy a ver si aquí en el juego lo da igual. Ya voy a ver si aquí en el juego lo da igual. Tomatoes. Thank you, Kathy. I got it. Contable. Contable. Cheese. Contable. Uncountable. Olives. ¿Qué son las olives? ¿Qué son las olives? Aceitunas. Sausages. Aceitunas. Sausages. La salchicha. Uncountable. Uncountable. Spinach, spinaca. Uncountable. Uncountable. Spinach. Tuna. Uncountable. Uncountable. Jam. El jamón. Uncountable. 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 Sweet corn. Uncountable. 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 Yes. Onions. Uncountable. Uncountable. Peppers. Uncountable. Chicken. Uncountable. Un? Un, 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 un,
مرتب مشروس E prawn. A guess prawns. Contable. What is prawns? Camarones. Is it is it shrimps? But what is prawns? Gamba. Como? Gamba. Y qué es eso? Prawns. Uh huh. Es que se parecen a los camarones. Las otras. Uh huh. Uh huh. Las otras son. No son almejas. Las otras, fíjate que vaya, los shrimps, los shrimps son los camarones, los camarones como pequeños, por decirlo así, ¿verdad? Y los prawns son como los camarones grandotes. Ahora bien, yo en lo personal tengo una duda, yo tengo una duda. Para mí, entre pineapple y prawns, yo hubiera puesto prawns en uncountable porque los prawns son como los pescados, son infinitos. O sea, miles y miles y miles nacen todos. Prawns es como... Es como langostinos. Ajá, ajá. Entonces, yo ahí sí tengo esa duda. Yo ahí sí tengo esa duda. Pero vamos a ver, vamos a enviar respuestas. Puede ser que aquí lo tire de otra forma. Ok, muy bien. Yo lo hubiera puesto al revés, fíjense. Yo creo que Carmencita o Katy, no sé quién de las dos me dijo lo de pineapple. Pero sí, yo lo hubiera puesto al revés. ¿Eh, señores, excelente. So, my dearest students, hey, de verdad me hacían falta, chicos. Espero que se adapten otra vez a mi ritmo. Acuérdense que aquí la clase es súper, ultra, mega participativa. Y señores, good job. Hey, Kenny, happy Mother's Day. Ok, happy Mother's uh, Day. Thank you, teacher. Mañana no voy a hacer nada, oye. Pero así, literal, <risa> nada, oye. ¿Ok? <risa> Happy bueno, Mother's Day. Chicos, Thank you, teacher. Agasajen a sus mamis, que se lo merecen. Agasajen a sus mamis y la verdad que todos los días. Señores, fue un placer haber estado con ustedes este día. Nos vemos el miércoles a las 5 y 30 en punto. Bye, people. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye que la pase bien con su mamá mañana. Thank you.